our badges. They taking our, 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 our vests and making us hand over our vests, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy, man. Like, we really just getting walked out right now, bro. Like, I didn't think that the 10,000 people be... So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a little a quick uptake. So, y'all, if y'all didn't know, this, this this was um an article either last week or the week before. So, uh, Amazon is going to be um uh, taking away about ten thousand, looks like yeah, ten thousand employers. They're gonna um, so I'm sorry, what's the word? They're gonna um. Like I said, so they're gonna release ten thousand em employers, and and it looks like they're starting really, really early before Chris Christmas. But that being, and uh, but the thing is, it's like you know, you know, we're like I said, we're in a recession right now, and looking at Amazon stock is 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 you know is is falling right now. And the thing is, it's like you know, before so I'm, I'm gonna get my take right now. So y'all guys remember when the pandemic uh, happened. Amazon was making money, remember? Because everybody was, you know, in the house. So what? The, so everybody was ordering for Amazon, right? So that's why was, they was making their money, money, money. Now, with the, um, you know, the, um, the the pandemic is over and we hit hot in, in, inflation, you know, now Amazon started to lose a little money real quick. And also, you know, also, you know, with Amazon, they, they started importing, you know, you know um, robots to, to be more efficient. Uh, of pushing up, you know, their, their, their packaging, all that type of stuff. So, for that being said, it's this: I am not surprised what Amazon doing. You know, I used to work with Amazon slash Whole Foods, and they they do a lot of upgrades, and they really try to really push into putting you know robotic um, um, type of stuff to put it in their warehouse, and then also you know some Whole Foods stores they they're going cashless. You know, you should, you know, you're going, going, you know, not using um, um, cashiers anymore. You know, they're going to start doing, you know, automatic, um, automatic um, cashiers, you know, with robotic stuff. And also, and also with Amazon Fresh, you know, you can log in your, your, your card and everything. So when you go in, they got your information. And when you go out with your bags, you know, it's already paid for anything. Um, for, for me, and this is why, you know, Amazon need to really start fighting for getting like a union. I know there's, a, I think there's a union up in either New Jersey, New York area, all that type of stuff. And I really feel like, you know, Amazon all employees, if you would like to say, if you um, live in the East, South, here in the West Coast, or up in North, y'all need to really, really fight to get a union. So y'all really, really can protect yourself like this. Because it's it's very very important to to stay in the union and and, and unit fight for you guys. So because stuff stuff like this will happen, or if it happens, you know y'all might get a little maybe a little um a little settlement or something like that, and you know so y'all can keep clear all that type of stuff because because we're not here for Amazon people working at Amazon the warehouses you know they they treat y'all bad, and y'all not getting y'all not getting paid enough. I heard y'all you know y'all getting overworked and not getting paid enough. And then y'all gotta be so efficient. Y'all slip on once, you know. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all get fired. Y'all get fired. So that being said, I hope you guys, you know, Amazon warehouses, y'all can, you know, y'all can union so y'all can get paid more, get the help benefits y'all need, and make sure y'all, y'all, y'all protected with under the union. Because Amazon is, is this just the beginning? You know, it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff Amazon doing that I see that I didn't like when I used to work with Amazon, it's like Whole Foods, that I did not like. I did not like, and I'm glad I don't work for that company no more because they they're doing stuff that, you know, you know it's not good for the workers there. It's not good for the workers there. So that's my quick take on that. There's a statement the YouTuber here, um, Nomad Capitalist, um, his father coined this term: "Go where you're treated best." A lot of us need to blame the shareholders and. We live in a very capitalist society, so you got to look. The decisions that these companies make is based on making the shareholders and the investment people pockets of fat. We, the little guys, are going to get affected on it. My brother just gave you, you just summed everything up in two minutes. I'm just going to just piggyback off that. We're in the wave of the future. Able bodies, that's nothing to us anymore. This is why you cannot depend on a job. 
the pandemic caused inflation. Now inflation is hurting everybody. Jeff Bezos and this got to make the bottom line has to be protected. If you don't understand economics, go back to school or get a YouTube. There's YouTube on videos about it. I feel sorry for everybody who's losing their job. Almost 10,000 people, not only warehouse workers, corporate and technology, they're getting laid off. Some of you software engineers, we had a spike of software engineers. Everybody was happy. Oh, let's go cold, cold. They laying a lot of y'all off now. So we, we have to understand we're in an age right now where we, we need to think outside the box to protect ourselves from this upcoming inflation and the recession. It's getting bad out here. And my brother said this, technology's only making it more easy. Don't get me wrong. Technology's making it easier for a lot of people who want an easier life. If you can get a couple of robots to sit around in a warehouse, why do we need six, seven people here for one of y'all might call out one day? I work for Whole Foods as well. As soon as it went corporate, the company values that, um, what's the guy named who owned it? Mackey? When John Mackey. Mackey. John Mackey. When yeah, he, he owned it. I think it, he retired this year, I believe. Yep. He retired. When he owned it, he had a plan. He had, it was like a co-op. Whole Foods would run like a co-op. Once it went corporate, and like you say, it was all about productivity, production time, and efficiency and that's where everything went out the door people don't depend on the job save yourself get a new skill invest start a business that's all i gotta say and this is why you need to like subscribe and share this content and make sure you hit the notification bell on the bottom because we're going live every sundays and then starting next week we're going to start doing two a days now we're two a live. day you're going to see more of us so, people, viewers, what y'all think? Y'all think Amazon is right for cutting 10,000 jobs? Or do you think it's wrong? Do you feel like, you know, they need to be protected on the union? So, tell me what y'all think in the comments. But that being said, Chaos Culture, Culture Radio. Radio. We out. We out. Peace. Peace.